This year's theme, Transforming Education, is indeed timely. It has been domesticated in Kenya as Boresha Elimu Wezesha Vijana. This is in recognition of the right, vital role played by education in creating the platforms upon which youth explore and develop their skills and talent, acquire knowledge and competencies for a lifetime. And this guided onto the path of being positive contributors to themselves, their families, their community, and the country as a whole. To that end, Kenya has emerged as a continental leader in the deployment of empowering youth education. We lead Africa in primary to secondary school transition rates, having realized 100% transition last year. To better align our education system with the changing needs of today's youth, as well as the new realities and opportunities that a 21st century world requires, the government introduced the competency-based education curriculum, in addition to creating 102 science, technology, engineering, and mathematics centers, better known as STEM, centers of excellence in all, in, in, in Mutakat na mutasnip. Yeah? So I can just read that paragraph again. To better align our education system with the changing needs of today's youth, as well as the new realities and opportunities of the 21st century world, the government introduced the competency based curriculum in addition to creating 102 science, technology, engineering, and mathematics centers of excellence, better known as STEM, in public secondary schools. In these centers of excellence, cutting edge training in areas such as robotics and artificial intelligence will allow our secondary schools to help mold the next generation of giants in the digital economy. We expect to see very soon world-class innovations being developed by young Kenyans that will revolutionize our world. To better align our education system with the changing needs of today's youth, as well as the new realities and opportunities of the 21st century world, the government introduced the competency-based curriculum in addition to creating 102 science, technology, engineering, and mathematics centers of excellence, better known as STEM, in public secondary schools. In these centers of excellence, Cutting edge training in areas such as robotics and artificial intelligence will allow our secondary schools to help mold the next generation of giants in the digital economy. We expect to see very soon world class innovations being developed by young Kenyans that will revolutionize our world. I'm also pleased to see that the ministries concerned with matters of youth have commenced an, ambition, an ambitious plan to refurbish and operationalize a total of 152 youth empowerment centers across our country. These centers will act as one-stop shops where youth can access key services as well as acquire skills for their personal development. 21 of these 
are already fully operational, with another 60 to be fully functional by the end of this year. We expect each and every young person in our country to be able to utilize the services available within these centers to access, to access online opportunities, acquire new skills, as well as competencies. Furthermore, the services provided in these centers will enable our youth to build collaborative networks with like-minded enterprising youth in Kenya and internationally, receiving training and mentorship, to mention but just a few. Since 2013, my administration has implemented a progressive agenda for our youth that is focused on assisting them in accessing financial services and resources to drive their dreams. One of these programs is the Young Africa Works Program, launched but just a few weeks ago in partnership with MasterCard Foundation and which aims to create more than two million jobs in the next five years. Another such initiative is the Mbele Nibiz Business Plan Competition under the Kenya Youth Employment and Opportunities Project. Mbele Nibiz <clears throat> aims to expand new and existing youth-led enterprises by providing them with grant funding and or business plan training. I encourage all our youth with entrepreneurial talent to take advantage and utilize these and other similar government initiatives to prosper. <clears throat> 